The following is a tutorial for Boost Auto Parts High Beam and Spotlight mod install for your 2022 refreshed and newer GM trucks. This mod allows your spotlights to turn on automatically when your high beams are activated. With this short installation time of less than 10 minutes, take your truck's look and visibility to the next level. To check fitment, availability, and to purchase our products, go to our website at BoostAutoParts.com. Up next, the installation. The High Beam to Spotlight Mod Kit comes with the following. The High Beam to Spotlight Harness, 4 T-Taps, and Zip Ties. For this installation, you will need the following. A 10mm socket, pliers, and a sharp knife. The very first thing you'll want to do is disconnect the negative battery cable under the hood using a 10mm socket. Next, locate the connectors under the dash on the driver's side. You will find 5 connectors here. We are interested in the blue, purple, and pink connectors. The pink connector is the closest to you. The purple and blue are the 4th and 5th connectors respectively. For all 3 connectors, go ahead and pull out the white locking tab. Then, pressing on the connectors tab, pull them out. With all 3 connectors disconnected, remove a few inches of tape for better access to the wires. Next, take the pink connector. Install the provided T-tab on the white wire at pin 12. With a white tab at the top of the connector, pin 12 is located at the bottom right, as shown here. Go off pin location as wire color may vary on your truck. You may use pliers to ensure the T-tap is fully engaged. Next, proceed to the purple connector and remove a few inches of tape. Install the provided T-tap on the black and white wire at pin 25. Again, make sure to go off pin location. Finally, on the blue connector, clear any tape on the harness. The first tap location is at pin 28. For us, this was a yellow and gray wire. With the white tab at the top of the connector, this wire can be found on the bottom row, second from the right. Go ahead and tap here using the provided T-tap. The second tap location is at pin 16. On our truck, this was a yellow and white wire. With the white tab at the top of the connector, this wire can be found on the second to last row on the very left. Go ahead and tap here too. Next, take the high beam to spotlight harness and bring it to the blue connector. The disconnects at the two white wires on the harness can be plugged into the T-taps at pins 16 and 28. It doesn't matter which of these white wires connect to which of the two T-taps. Bring the black wire on the harness to the purple connector and insert the disconnect to the T-tap you previously installed at pin 25. Then, proceed to the pink connector. The red wire on the high beam spotlight harness can connect to the white wire at pin 12. With that done, all three connectors can be reinstalled into their slots, with the white taps pressed in to secure them into place. Secure the high beam to spotlight harness under the dash using the provided zip ties. Finally, the battery can be reconnected using a 10mm socket. Now with the high beam to spotlight mod installed, your spotlights can turn on automatically when your high beams are activated. Thanks for watching this video. The Boost Auto Parts Spotlight and Drive mod can be purchased on our website at BoostAutoParts.com. Boost Auto Parts also offers a wide range of parts and accessories for your truck or SUV. To stay up to date on new product releases and more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's all for now. Catch you in the next one.